welcome back to my channel so first of all i'm gonna say sorry for not uploading in a month i've been super sick first i got a cold so bad then i lost my voice then i had food poisoning like literally last week oh it was so bad okay so today's video is all about a fellow youtuber who um did a video on this subject as well so it's about reptile rescues um, and i wanted to do it um to help spread awareness so a shout out to northern exotics richard um for doing the video and i'm jumping to help raise awareness for reptile rescues so a reptile rescue is a place where you can go and take your reptiles if you're no longer able to take care of them which is nothing bad about that at all uh, obviously there is some cases where it's through neglect and stuff like that but generally in speaking if you, you become ill and can no longer take care of them there is a few places you can go so i i have um, messaged a few a few and i've got three that are okay about me using their rescue on my video so the first one uh, there are no no pacific order but um they are kind of because this reptile who i'm doing first got in contact with me first after our message so yeah okay right serious so this the first one is washington's reptile rescue in lovebra I suck at pronouncing anything, so please forgive me. So, Matt is Washington's Reptile Rescue um, guy. He's really nice. Um, I've spoke to him a few times over messages. He's really nice. Um, very open. Very open. Um, so, I asked just to give... A little bit of an insight into why he opened his rescue um, and what sort of animals he can take and can't take and also what areas so he can take any reptile that doesn't require a DWA okay for people that don't know a DWA is a dangerous and wild animals license um, rattlesnakes you need one of those for them caiman crocodiles you get the gist of it um, so he can pretty much take anything it doesn't matter if it's a reticulated python an iguana he can take it if he's got the space so why he started the rescue we started the rescue out of the pure love of mistreated and abused reptiles there was a real need for us in the local area people seemed to dump them off in the fields nearby to Lobra and surrounding areas I will travel up to an hour either way we will allow people to bring them into us from all over the country so if he can't get to you um, you can take the reptile to him um, I will put all the details to how to contact each of these re rescues uh, and along with some of their photos of um, their rescues and stuff because there's one of uh, Wash Matt Washington ones that I thought was really nice and it really got me so um, we've had some from Sheffield, Wakefield, Southampton, Warwickshire and Manchester etc so these guys are on Google um, I think they're on Apple Maps as well um, so I'm assuming you just type it in and um, Washington's Reptile Rescue in your Google app map and it should give you their location so he is on facebook i will put his details of his facebook page up here and along with a few of his photos so he's the first one and like i said i have messaged him he's a really really nice guy and he put some really good pictures on as it on his facebook and um, one thing i do want to stress is if you've messaged him for whatever reason about an animal being taken in or you taking an animal out please give him time to reply and um, 
he could be out um collecting a, another another animal <clears throat> and obviously depending on where that animal is located it could be two hours it could be five hours um so just bear with him he will get back in touch with you he really will um so yeah give him a chance if you do and like i said he's quite open he's a really open guy he's not not there to judge you he's just there simply for the animal to take it in to get it rehabilitated or what or whatever um and get it to an, a new loving home so that's all it is a, he's a very very down-to-earth guy and love that love that so yes if you need to contact him please do the next one is Late's Reptile Rescue. If I've said that wrong, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I told you I'm sucky at pronouncing things. So anyway, this one's really nice as well. Um, my husband and I have been rescuing reptiles for many years now. So we decided to open the rescue to make more people aware that there is places available to help that is, that is non-judgmental sanctuary for reptiles so there you go they've even said that they're not judgmental so if you're worried about being judged about not being able to look after this reptile same with matt they're very open and they are not there to judge you on the reasons why you're no longer able to take care of the animal it happens okay um don't dump them though right so We can take pretty much any reptile. We've had 11 plus foot berms, monitor lizards, carpet pythons, retics. There is not much we say no to unless we physically can't ha don't have the space. But we will always guide people in the direction. So again, even if they can't take it, they will give you help and advice to where you can go. So there's that as well. Always, always try your best to reach out to someone if you are struggling with a reptile if we ourselves are, not, are unable to help we also take inverts but no spiders <laughs> i'm just it. it's so funny when we were messaging it came up with big caps no spiders which i thought was really hilarious but there's a genuine reason why this is our only limitation as my husband is allergic to the hairs so that's that's a, a a not good situation to have but because her husband is allergic we have a friend that takes on spiders if needed so we can try and help with the best we can in any situation so if you do have an invert or a, anything like that tarantula wise um, you still can contact these people because they have somebody who can take tarantulas in so don't think that they, you, oh, I can't take it because I want to. They, they will put you in touch with somebody, which is their friend, who can take the tarantula. So always bear that in mind. They're always willing to help. You just have to message. We can go anywhere in about an hour to two hour radius, but we do ask if there could be a contribution towards fuel as we are non-profit and this would be coming out of our own pocket, which I think is fair enough. But people are also welcome to bring animals to us if they prefer. Excuse me. We can do longer distances. See, this is what I love about these these three reptile rescues, especially uh, what I've, when I've been talking to them. Even though they're a non-profit, which means they don't get any any money for rescuing these animals, we do we can do longer distances, but that would have to be arranged with us, as it's not a usual thing to be going that far. But even they've said they can't go that far they are willing to accommodate and obviously maybe meet halfway type of thing something like that but again they're open so one of the messages that um i received while we were talking and it really it really really made me smile she said opening the rescue has been hard because i got i get attached to the animals but that is my drive to find them the best possible homes. 
my reward is seeing the animals happy and cared for in its new home so again a lot like washington's reptiles they are willing to help and accommodate for whatever your circumstances are you just get in touch with them they are willing to help and like i said both of these two who i've just mentioned are really nice to talk to they're very open and willing to help like washington he had he started his because it was a big big thing about dumping animals you know and he he strives on making that less and less and for the animals to be in a safe amazing home which is fantastic it's all about the animals okay so this next reptile rescue is one of my personal favorites um mainly because before the rescue they had a pet shop and then they, turned, they went into a, a rescue uh, but they also do handling sessions which is awesome um, I have bought a few of my reptiles from them so my beady dragon Dundee I've got him from them my MBK which is my Mexican black king snake Toothless I bought her from them uh, I think I, I got uh, Patricia one of my tarantulas um, what else did I get from you guys? Why am I asking you? She's not even here. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, this is my latest um, new edition. Uh, she's not been introduced yet because obviously I've had her in quarantine. Uh, not because she's got anything. It's just something I do, just personally. Um, so this is Webless. Hey, say hello. Hello, everybody. So, this is she is a royal or ball python. She's about two. Um, her story, thankfully, is not a sad one. Um, the owner just um was coming out of the hobby. That's all it was, really. Um, as you can see, she's she's been handled. And she's been taken care of, so it's nice. But yeah, she's she's awesome. I love her. Oh my god, sorry. So the rescue. <laughs> Taking on my limelight, I forgot all my words now. Right, so I'm not even gonna try and pronounce this one, so I'll put their um contact details on the page. Uh, on the video page. The it, it is a non not for profit organization dedicated to helping reptiles and inverts in the Doncaster area via responsible rehabilitation and rehoming. We are not a registered charity, but donations to the cause are greatly received. Now, obviously, I visited Laura and Lucan to go and pick Webless up, and his um, I was able to see his um, quarantine area amazing, amazing. Um, they care so much for their animals it doesn't matter what what they've got in they care for them which is really good and all three of these reptile rescues ha, do go above and beyond so if you are struggling to look after a, a reptile and you do need to rehome it um please get in touch with any any of these three they're all really nice people you know they they just want to help as best as it can for the animal. I thought you were going back up my sleeve. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> oh, my hand was in the way. <laughs> so yeah, please get in touch if you feel that you can't you you can't look after um your reptile anymore or invert. Uh, these places out there that are willing to help and do do help you know don't feel that you have to go dump your boa constrictor in a cardboard box in a back alley um please don't do that <laughs> don't there is organizations out there you just have to look um but like i said these three are so nice um they the only thing is again if you do message them please be patient with them they will get back to you 
um but you just have to be a little bit patient like i said they could be traveling an hour or 15 minutes to go and pick up um a, an animal um you don't know what their story is and stuff like that so they need to assess as they get there because nine times out of ten there's like oh my god there's a vicious royal and it's it's not it's puppy dog term <laughs> just see honors have got scared maybe for some reason it happens you know but again please don't dump animals it's uncool it's not fair so yes these are my reptile rescues that i've that i've contacted and i highly recommend any of them even if you want to be home um i think washington i believe had a corn snake two mock turtles i think um, but you just go give them all a follow on Facebook. Uh, they all have their adoption animals on there once they're ready because they all have to be quarantined. Um, they all have to make sure they've ate and shed and pooped and are doing okay before they're allowed to go for rehoming, which is fantastic. All three of them do that as well, so which is great. Um, other than that, just get in contact if you need if you need an animal rehoming or if you want to home a re animal. Okay, they do rehoming as well. Isn't she lovely? Yeah, I'll be doing a video on her because um, her name's quite funny, Webless. So, I hope you enjoyed this video um again a shout out to richard from northern exotics it was his video that inspired me to do my video and look into reptile rescues and the three that i found are, are amazing they really are amazing really so open to talk to and they're willing to listen if you just give them a try you know if it doesn't matter what your situation they're not bothered about what your situation is if if you need them you need them they they are there but bear with them if you've messaged don't don't like get mad after five minutes of them not replying <laughs> they are all busy they all have day jobs as well but they will get back to you okay so i hope you enjoyed this video uh make sure to thumbs it up drop us a comment if you know of any reptiles that are near you that i could help promote for you um, and I will see you all in the next video. Hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. See you next time. Bye everyone.